Okay guys, it must be nearing the end of the year. I'm having to use my thick markers again because I'm running out of ink. All right, 12.5, we're gonna multiply and divide rational expressions. And we're gonna start with multiplication. If I have negative x cubed over x squared plus 5x minus 14, and this is multiplied by 2 minus x. Now, when you write 2 minus x, it is important to know that if they have a number like that, it's always going to be in the numerator. So write it carefully in the numerator. And if you're just not sure, put it over 1, as it'll help you to um, make sure it's in the correct place. Once you've done that, you want to factor everything you can. So that's your first step, is you want to factor everything you can. So I can't change this numerator, it's as is, but this denominator could be factored. And I can see that this negative 14 lends itself to x plus 7 and x minus two, that'll give me a negative 14, but it'll still give me a plus five x. And I'm multiplying by two minus x. Now I look at this and I tell myself, what a shame that this is two minus x and not x minus two. Because if it were x minus two, I could cancel. Well, I can make it x minus 2, and I showed you how to do this in the lesson, but let me just review. I'm going to just rewrite this as is. I can multiply or factor out a negative 1, and when I do that, I'm just going to change my signs. The 2 becomes negative, the x becomes positive. So x is now positive. 2 is negative. And I know I've done it right because if I remultiply, I'll get this exactly, which means I didn't change the fraction. Negative x, positive 2, so I really haven't changed the value, so I'm allowed to do that. What's great now that I have done that is I can cancel the x minus 2, and I'm left with negative x cubed over x plus 7, which is my answer. Okay, I'm going to do uh, number 24 on the uh, different piece of paper because I may need a little more space for it. <laughs> number 24 is a division, w squared minus 9 over 2w plus 1, and I'm dividing by w plus 3 over 4w squared minus 1. When you do a division, the first step is really to turn it into a multiplication. So your first step is turn a division into a multiplication. And how? When you divide any fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. You've been doing this since you were little. So I'm going to do the same thing with uh, rational expressions by multiplying by the reciprocal. Math is always the same principles. So as long as you follow math rules, you always do okay. So first, you turn the division into a multiplication by multiplying by the reciprocal, which means w squared minus 9 over 2w plus 1 is now multiplied by 4w squared minus 1, which becomes the numerator, and w plus 3 becomes my denominator. So that is my first step. 
my second step is the same as my first step before, because now I'm just, I have a multiplication problem, and I'm going to factor. Factor every single thing that I can. So I'm going to start with w squared minus 9. I can see that w squared is a square, 9 is a square, and they're subtracted, so difference of two squares, which means w plus 3, w minus 3 over 2w plus 1 times. And up here, I don't know if you can see, but 4w squared is the square of 2w. So I've got one square, and one squared is one. So again, I have a difference of two squares. So I get 2w plus 1, 2w minus 1, over w plus 3. Now I'm going to look at all of this, join it together in one big fraction, and see what I can cancel. Well, I see I can cancel a 2w plus 1, and I can cancel a w plus 3. And when I'm finished canceling, I'm left with just numerators. And then w minus 3 times 2w minus 1. And that is my answer. So that is the end of 12.5, uh, multiplying and dividing rational expression. I've got two session sections left, and then we'll be done with our review.